Genomic Insight, powered by Opus 23 Explorer, is a very sophisticated program. And it must be very sophisticated in order to utilize and synthesize the immense amount of data to produce an actionable curated report. However, not to worry, we have made this very simple for you. In order to become an expert user in this program, one must understand the difference between genetics and genomics and have a strong understanding of biochemical individuality. Now, many of us have heard of the term nature versus nurture. Nature being what we are born with, our genes, and nurture being the upbringing and lifestyle that occurs throughout life to result in the end product or where we are today. But biochemical individuality is nature and nurture together. It is how our genes, those of which you are born with, are influenced by our lifestyle and our environment. And this includes things like diet, nutrition, exercise, environmental exposures, medicines, and supplements as well. Genetics is the study of genes and inheritance. And we see genetic disorders very clearly, such as cystic fibrosis and PKU, muscular dystrophy, other conditions like sickle cell anemia. These are conditions that occur from very precise mutations that cause a severe pathology. Now in genomics, it's very different. We don't see severe pathology because we are studying multiple different genes or variations in genes, such as SNPs that occur that may not lead to severe pathology, but lead to dysfunction. And more so in genomics, we're looking at interactions with the environment and genes with each other, which we call epistatic and epigenetic relationships. Oftentimes, when we're studying genomics and certain SNPs, we don't see severe pathology because we must not look at one single SNP, but the whole family and the whole environment of SNPs and genes that interact, which can lead to dysfunction. So for example, we have the MTHFR gene, which is influenced by various levels of folic acid, B12, and other B vitamins. And when this specific enzyme is dysfunctional in the body, we can influence it by improving other genes and by providing the proper environment for it to function. Now, when we see dysfunction in genomics, it's usually a conglomerate of all these things together. Whereas in genetics, it's typically one single variation causing a severe pathology. Now in genomic insight, it's very rare that you would find cystic fibrosis or PKU or muscular dystrophy as these are conditions that are often caught early in life. However, what we can do is look at the various programs within Genomic Insight powered by Opus 23 Explorer that allow us to look deeper into the genomics of every single gene and how they interact with other genes and other nutrients. We can pick specific genes and look at various agents that are agonists or antagonists to that particular gene. Furthermore, each one of these agents is backed by evidence-based data in the multiple databases that are incorporated into the program. As I mentioned, genomics relies on how genes interact within the biochemical pathways. And with Genomic Insight, we can look at each individual pathway and see how these genes might be interacting. So if one gene might be influenced by a particular agent or may have a SNP that decreases function, within that same map, we can look at other areas to see how we can improve function upstream or downstream, which is very unique to Genomic Insight and Opus 23 Explorer. Furthermore, we can see with various algorithms how multiple different SNPs together can influence the genomics of the individual patient. Each one of these topics we will discuss further in more detail in upcoming videos.